welcome to another week's video in the garden with me. Hey, I'm so excited about doing another video. And if you're new here, this is May Renfro from my um, website and blog and from my YouTube channel. And I've been doing garden videos this summer. Start of my new thing this summer. I've never did these gardening videos before and I'm doing it just uh, to be informative for you if you're interested in into the garden thing and just also to help me have fun in my garden because I grow a big garden. Uh, if you've been catching these videos already, we I have a, a big family, mother of nine, and we grow a really big garden and um, just kind of overdo it. And it's a lot of work, a lot of work to keep up all the weeding and then when it comes harvest time, all the picking, all the shelling peas and doing up and canning and freezing and so much work. And I thought, you know what, this summer I could just have a little bit of fun in my garden and do videos. And so this is part of the videos that I do on YouTube anyway. Um, uh, I do the spiritual videos and then I'm doing a series down in the graveyard, Hope from the Cemetery called. So if you haven't seen those, catch those, is um, as Hope from the cemetery, that one of the maybe most, least unlikely places to find hope and encouragement, but um, that, uh, but where we're going through something hard, God is right there too, and that's why I'm, I'm doing those there. And yeah, if you've caught them, you kind of know why. So just I'll leave it at that. Okay, this is a garden video, so back to the garden. Um, yeah, I'm excited to have you. Are my things have been growing since just this last week. I could see such growth. I'm starting at standing at the opposite end of my garden this time than I usually do. I'm usually down there, that end. I'm starting standing at the opposite end. I'm right down by my garlic and my onions. You hopefully, see them. But double row of onions, double row of garlic right here. And then my peas. And I found I was weeding. It's just been out weeding. And then tilling and everything. And I found one of my peas, there's lots of blooms. I think you can see that maybe. Lots and lots of blooms on the peas. But there's some pea pods, little pea pods. And it's so early yet. I'm thinking, uh, I don't think, last year we had peas already, but maybe we did. I lose track of what of what time was what last year and the year before and everything. Um, but we had a really dry start last year. This time was nice and wet. A lot of rain, just what we needed. We haven't had water at all yet, but we may have to, but we, not at all. And it's coming up dark clouds there. Maybe get some more rain. So, um, but I've got peas, little peas sitting on, lots and lots of blossoms. So that's exciting. It's exciting. It means work though. It means work. But yeah, the first, when you first get some goodies, it's good. Last time I was telling you, we was eating spinach and Swiss chard leaves and lettuce and some radishes and beet tops. Great for salads. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So now we're getting the peas and my carrots have really made progress last year. My carrots were so slow, so slow. Um, yeah, again, must've been dry, but the boys just really going. My carrots, awesome. So that's why I wanted to kind of show with you some of the progress of things, what's, how it's going. A little gal right over there in the car again. She's been hanging out with me. Uh, oh, yeah, the cabbages. There's more tea things and cabbages. I've been tending the cabbages because I have this problem uh, root maggot that gets on the in the cabbages. Really annoying. Uh, first, when I first plant out my little cabbage plants, broccoli, anything like that, broccoli, cauliflower, Chinese cabbage, I first put them out, and I have problems with these little bugs getting on them and eating the leaves. Okay, so I put some stuff on them, some seven dust or something on them to try to kill that problem. I take care of them. Like, oh, good! Look at my cabbages. Look how big they are. They're really growing. I'm gonna get a lot of cabbage. And the next thing I know, the cabbages start wilting. And then I have another problem on my hands. Okay, and what that problem is, then when they start wilting, and you can go over to the cabbage and just move them a little bit, right off. There's no root base, and underneath, you pick that up, and there's a bunch of little root maggots. Yuck. Bunch of little, and they get it. So some kind of fly, if understood, um, lays these eggs, get, they get in there, they eat that, they eat the root, and you've lost it. So you have this beautiful looking cabbage until suddenly one day, pew, it's not and and it's wilting and they did that a toll on my chinese cabbages you can see maybe four if i see four chinese cabbages right here hoping you can see that four chinese cabbages and then i had another four and another four three in another area and we're down to one in that area down to two here oh there's five here okay so i'm just i'm not sure what we're gonna get for chinese cabbage it's kind of a rare thing for us we don't really ever get a lot um, we like to try to you know, have our, at least some Chinese cabbage, but it's not looking good. First, the little bugs are eating the leaves, and now they're getting the roots. Annoying, annoying. But that's all part of a garden. You got to figure out the tricks of the trade and what to do. Hey, Becca. 
you got to figure out what to do in that area. But yeah, we're going to get do some kind of treatment. Just do all the cabbage plants because I won't know there's a problem until, oh, another one's wilted. Oh, another one's wilted. Oop, I'm losing a whole bunch. I've already lost five or six cabbages. No, that was about four Chinese cabbages and several more of the other. So I've lost a lot. Hey, Becca. Yeah, what you up to? Oh, you want to hold my my stick for me but then i might only see half of my head if you hold the stick <gasps> can you see yourself <laughs> okay all right so i think this one's going to be uh just short and sweet in the garden today just a short and sweet one um short and yeah quick um so yeah i'm on the opposite end of my garden i've got some celery and so maybe we can see a different kind of you're seeing different stuff this time probably um, then la the last time these cabbages are big now I started all the rest of the cabbages these little ones here behind me I started them all in the um, myself down in the, in the basement and they're under a little greenhouse thing and so they were pretty small and they've got but they're gonna do you know could they, they can still do something uh, good but that's why those are small and these cabbages now are started um, I mean in greenhouse I bought these went to the greenhouse and cheated on these Chinese cabbage I mean these cabbages and uh, so those are uh, going to be ahead. Those are my first cabbages. Yeah. And these over here in the beans, this was where my spinach, straight there in the middle of the row, came up on its own. And so I just left it. We till up to this side, turn around, go back. And then on this side, we till up there and just go back and leave it. And so I've got some spinach that just came up on its own. Okay, so everything is just really growing it's really really great and it looks like we will get some more rain looking at the clouds there i think we're going to get some more rain so that's exciting um we haven't had a water yet so we praise the lord we're happy happy um that we don't have to just a minute what do you gotta do so we're really happy that we don't have to water this time so far and that everything is really growing and so i'll show you some more when um got more yeah, I don't know if you can see the cabbages. I'm going to walk down and show you a pepper that I bought from the greenhouse. We've got little peppers on it. Okay, here's my um, pepper there. This hot pepper with little peppers on it. So that's pretty good. For up this far north in Alberta, so I, I find it really hard to get peppers much. Like bell peppers and stuff. It's, it's just not warm enough. I got this from the greenhouse. This, is the, this one was from the greenhouse too, but it's a different kind and it's, yeah, I'm not sure what it's going to do. Look at this teeny little tomato. So it's a, those little um, teeny toms or something I think it's called. We have one of those in the bucket too. It's uh, a lot bigger. Maybe you can kind of see my rhubarb. It's right here. Rhubarb and stuff. So I'm just going to hold the camera this way this time. This is broccoli I just planted right there in the ground by seed. We need to start ahead of time. And so that's my bigger cabbages here that we've got from the greenhouse too. You can see they're better this way. My zucchinis and celery. These celery we just planted just from a stalk. From the bottom of the stalk we, we had several doing that. I don't know where the other ones are. The kids all have their own so they got them somewhere. But the celery we uh, decided to just cut when we're using the celery. When we get down near the bottom then we can use them for planting and we can get started them in water and then put them out in the garden. So they're going to do something. Oh, here's some Chinese cabbages. I'm a little scared. These are trying to look. I'm not sure if the roots warm bugs are getting those too. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so my so the cabbages and before when I uh, okay, here we are. So, okay, so before I close this uh, video, what I was gonna uh, say is that I always talk about spiritual things because that is what I do right in all my videos I I talk about God and that's the reason I do these videos even the ones in the in the garden all the time I and I was thinking um yeah the root the but the root worms make us like to get in our cabbage and kill the cabbage they get in there and they eat it and they deteriorate the root um that is what Satan wants to do in our lives of Christians uh he wants to he comes to kill and see who he can seek kill and destroy and he'll do that in so many different mighty ways that that satan does it he he is strong he is sneaky and uh 
what are some words? Just very deceptive lie, the liar, the father of lies. And, uh, um, and so he was very sneaky. But he comes, of course, uh, with scripture and stuff too. Is a you know, um, Satan works in many, many ways, right, to deceive. Okay. So what I wanted just to get at this time is that. Um, he comes to seek to see we can devour kill and destroy in different ways you know it's still our joy our uh peace of mind um and or just get us believing lies and so we need to be so diligent and diligent and that and see the ways that he's and wants to un, un, undermine the root our roots so we got to be more grounded and rooted in jesus um be way more in the word and uh just be strong in God and getting in the word and in prayer every day um, because Satan is trying to get at us uh, at our very root system like these root maggots. Uh, I hope this is, a, I'm painting a clear picture. Hey, you know what? This is a good way to talk about this. Um, it, it, how uh, Satan wants to uh, seek, try to kill, seek and destroy, you know, so many uh, things in our lives to break up relationships in a family uh, to, um, is to, to make us worry about stuff and fret about the future and just to steal that joy and steal the peace that God has given us. We just want to keep going to the Father, keep going to Jesus. And it says that he will keep us in perfect peace. His mind is stayed on him. So when we keep our minds on Jesus, he can keep us in peace. And it says when we draw closer to God, and it draw, the, the devil will flee from us. So we want to make the devil run. We keep we go closer to God. We seek him more. Yeah, it's raining. And um draw an eye to God and he'll draw an ear to us and the will make the devil flee okay so that, that is what we want to do and I just want to encourage you to keep um, seeking God especially when things difficulties in your life keep going to God he'll lift you up and keep you going yes it's raining well we'll probably wrap up this uh, video here Becca is complaining about the rain she went and got a hoe when she was trying to do a little bit of hoeing but now she don't like the rain on her head can you hold are you holding it yeah she don't like the rain. She's kind of like, okay, we need to go in. So it's raining. That's good news for the garden. <gasps> okay. I guess we better wrap this one up. Okay. Until next time. And our garden will be even bigger next time. So I hope I can take care of this root problem with these sneaky bugs that want to get in there and kill those roots of my cabbages. And we be vigilant that Satan that is trying to uh, get at us too in so many ways. So. Um, let's be diligent, diligent, and uh, whoa, I want to start away. Okay, we'll catch you next time on a garden video or my other videos. Uh, you can catch me over at my website and blog as well. Okay, stay tuned for more.